Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is going to be all about art supplies and watercolor supplies under $30. So Christmas is fast approaching and I'm posting this video the weekend of Black Friday. So maybe you're looking for stuff to ask for for Christmas or stuff that you are interested in giving as a gift to another artist in your life. I will leave links to everything in the description below if you're interested in picking some up or putting them on your wish list and these prices are just what they are at the time of the filming and they are subject to change so I can't promise if you're watching this video in the future that these prices are still gonna be under $30. Real quick before we start the video, I just want to mention that I probably have review videos or videos about these products somewhere already on my channel or coming in the future. And if I do have a video, I will link it in one of the corners above for the card. So if you want to hear more information about that product or see it in use, you will be able to. So the first category of items I'm going to show you under $30 are going to be travel paint palettes. Now, these items are going to be great for anyone who travels and does art or likes to do art when they maybe go out for walks or hikes. And if someone is a collector of art supplies or paint palettes like I am myself, then maybe you haven't heard of one of these items before and would be interested. To start off with our first item, this is the portable painter palette which is probably one of my favorite items and I do have a review video here on my channel along with me filling up the palette. So this is a watercolor travel palette that when you take off this clip here it turns both sides into water cups and if you know a little bit about watercolor you know that generally you have two cups of water so that you can one clean your brush in and the other one is to use clean water so you don't get your paints muddy basically but then you open up your palette and it has 12 half pans that are removable so you can fill it with your own paint so disclaimer it does not come with any paint then there's also a watercolor travel brush and the fun thing about this brush is it's actually two-sided so you pull off the end here and stick it in and now you have two different size brushes which is perfect for anyone on the go or traveling who likes to do art or little watercolor sketches. This is so small and compact I really love it and enjoy taking it with me places. Now with that same company Portable Painter they also make an even tinier palette called the Micro Portable Painter and this one has six half pans in it. So here it is all opened up and it has six half pans and again this does not come with paint so you'll have to fill it with your own paint but this is great if someone is looking for something even more compact and it does come in this little velvet baggie to keep it safe. Now, while both of these items individually are under $30, if you are interested, you can get them both in a bundle, but that is over $30. Now, something I also wanted to mention about this company is that they made special pans to go inside these palettes to do different configurations so that you can have different sizes and amounts of paint and carry more colors if you are interested. So I will also leave those pans linked below. So the second palette that I'm going to talk about is the Winsor & Newton Field Pocket Set or Field Box Set. I've seen them go under a couple different names, but this set is an all-in-one travel palette where you can even carry water with you, which is perfect. So the top comes off and this will be your little water bucket and then this opens like a book. You slide your water cup on the end and these palettes fold out and reveal the 12 paints inside along with a sponge. Over here you have your tiny travel brush and then this is actually your water canteen and it pops out and you can fill this with water and carry it with you. So it's an all-in-one travel palette. And I will have a video coming out in the next couple days about this palette if you're interested. The next palette I'd like to talk about is what's called the Stay Wet Palette or a foldable watercolor pot as it's labeled on this box. 
you this has a clip where you pop it open and here's your palette and this is actually a water cup that extends so you will use this to hold your water and it also has little holes on the side to hold brushes and then here is your palette it has 16 wells and when you pop this clip open it actually has a silicone seal to keep everything from drying out. So you can put watercolor in here or a lot of people put gouache in here, which is a great option. I have yet to fill mine up, but I will be putting gouache in mine and that will also be a future video coming if you're interested. Now, there is a larger palette of this, which I don't currently have, but I will leave it linked in the description below and I'll put a picture on the screen, maybe over here, showing you what the larger palette looks like if you're interested in a larger Stay Wet palette. But again, this is nice and compact for traveling. So the next category that I wanna talk about is watercolor travel brushes in particular. Now, the one set that I have and I love so much is this right here. It is by Fumi, I think is how you say it but it's this faux leather pouch that you flop up and inside are three watercolor travel brushes. And how they work is you actually unscrew and pull out the brush and then you screw it in to make a regular brush size. And what's great about these travel brushes in particular is the screwing mechanism. Now I had a set previously where it did not have the screwing mechanism and so they'd slide in and out quite easily and sometimes fall apart when you didn't want them to. So here is the set. It is four, eight, and 12 size round brushes. And these are my favorite brushes with them being cheaper it doesn't make me afraid to use them and I can kind of be rough with them a little bit. And there are holes, I don't know if you can tell, but there are holes in the bottom of these tubes so that way the brushes don't get moldy and there is some airflow for them to dry out. Now there is another set I found online that I don't currently have, but it has other size brushes in this set instead of just rounds. So if you're interested in more of a variety, I will also put a picture on the screen here um, to show you those and have those linked down below. But it's just another option. So if you're picking up someone a paint palette, you might wanna grab them a pack of brushes as well. Now let's talk about some paint. And the first paint set that I ever got was the Sheen Han Professional Watercolor Set. And this is actually a student grade, even though it says it's professional. Their professional grade is called like extra fine watercolors. But anyways, um, the Sheen Han Professional Set of Watercolors is a student grade paint that I started out with. And I used them for a very long time and I really enjoyed using them. And that's what got me started into watercolor. So they are a great beginner set. Um, something if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you're not sure if you'd like watercolor, this is a good set to start with rather than like a very cheap craft set. Um, you get more of an idea of how watercolor actually works with these. So this next set of paints is a professional grade. It is Core by Golden. And you might have heard of Golden before, like Golden Acrylics. Well, they are the parent company and Core is their watercolor line. Now this is called their High Chroma Set. So these Core sets come with six tubes and they are five milliliters each. And the neat thing is their lid has all these little circle divots in them that you can use as a paint palette. So if you're looking for just a little bit of a taste of a professional watercolor set, you can grab a set of six by Core. Maybe start with the introductory set. This is their high chroma set, so it has very vibrant colors. And I believe they also have a earth mineral set, which is more earthy tones. So if you're someone who just wants to start with a professional grade of watercolors and want to teach yourself color mixing, there is also the introductory set by Daniel Smith that's under $30, which I will 
put a picture here because I currently do not have any Daniel Smith watercolors, but I definitely wanted to let you know that that's an option out there. I just wanted to put in like a little honorable mention, even though it is slightly over $30 but they are probably my favorite watercolor or watercolor set, and it is the Magello Mission Gold Watercolors. This set in particular has, I believe, 36 colors, and it comes with this palette, so that's why it's slightly over $30. The palette is big enough to hold a little bit of all the tubes of paint that you get, and here is my swatch sheet. This set might interest you if color theory and color mixing might intimidate you and you'd rather have these pre-mixed colors. This is probably the first professional set that I ever bought because color mixing intimidated me at first and I had my pre-mixed colors so it was something that I didn't have to worry about. But you just pay a little more for having that convenience and you're getting a lot more paint for that price. The majority of my paintings and videos here on YouTube are made with my Magello Mission Gold watercolors. It is a Korean watercolor that's honey-based so they re-wet so beautifully and they are very vibrant colors. So we've talked about palettes, brushes, and paint, but we need something to paint on, right? So the next category I'm going to talk about is paper. And I have to mention this massive pad of watercolor paper right here by Fabriano. It is 25% cotton. And this is some of my favorite paper to work with. If you don't have the budget for 100% watercolor paper, I highly, highly recommend this paper. Plus you get 60 sheets of it. It is nine by 12, 140 pound. This is probably the second or third pad of paper I've bought. A lot of my watercolor swatches and paintings behind me are made on this paper. I also like to take this paper and make my own watercolor sketchbooks. Now I have a whole video on how to make a DIY watercolor sketchbook if that's something you're interested in. I will leave that linked above. It allows me to make a watercolor sketchbook exactly how I would like it. But say you don't want to make your own sketchbook or maybe you are looking for that 100% cotton watercolor paper. Well, I got you. Here is the Etcher sketchbook which is 100% cotton watercolor paper. It has an elastic band and this, um, the cover of this is like a canvas fabric material. There is also a pocket in the back. The Etcher sketchbook is about six inches by eight, a size A5. This one in particular is in a landscape format, though they do have ones in portrait. It has 52 pages, it is 230 GSM, 100% cotton paper, acid-free, and vegan-friendly. But this is a great option if you're looking for a 100% cotton watercolor sketchbook, as I know there are not very many out there on the market and let alone under $30. Another 100% cotton watercolor paper option is this Academy watercolor paper pad by Bao Hong. It is 10 by 7, 300 GSM, and you get 20 pages. So if you're looking to test out some 100% cotton watercolor paper but maybe don't want it in a sketchbook, you can pick this up for less than $30, which is amazing. The next category that I want to mention is fountain pens. Now, some of you may be like urban sketchers or like to do ink and wash technique. So I have a couple fountain pens under $30 for you, which you might be interested in. The first one is this Lamy Safari pen. These are very affordable fountain pens and great starters. This one is a medium sized nib and it also has a cutout so you can see when you're running low on ink. I did a lot of my Inktober 2019 drawings with this pen. The other pen under $30 I wanted to mention, it comes in this metal case. And I just recently purchased this one. It is the Hong Dion Rainbow Forest Pen. And it is gorgeous. Look at it. 
It is all metal, so it's kind of heavy. I also got this in a medium nib, and it has a nice textured pattern on the barrel, so you can easily grip it. And of course, it comes in this box, so if you're giving this as a gift for someone, it's already kind of pre-packaged for you. But when you are using watercolors with your fountain pens, you're going to need a waterproof ink. So I highly recommend this sketch ink by Royer and Klinger. And this one is called Lottie, which is the black ink. They make um, these inks in all different colors. The only thing about this ink is for some reason, it's kind of hard to get on Amazon. So you might have better luck finding it through other fountain pen companies. Now, while searching for these items under $30 for you, I also came across this painter's diary where you can put your paint swatches in. And I thought it was so neat. I currently don't own it, but I definitely thought it was worth mentioning because I'm sure there's lots of artists out there who like to swatch out their watercolors, but maybe don't want to take the time to draw them all out themselves and label everything, whereas this keeps it all in this nice book for you. I just thought this was very unique. I haven't seen anything out there like this at the moment, so I definitely thought it was worth mentioning because it is also under $30. Now, we've talked about a lot of items today, and you probably need somewhere to put them all. So my last item on today's list is the Delphonics Utility Pouch. This one in particular is a size medium, which is my favorite, but this one is not $30. However, they have a slightly smaller pouch that is under $30. Now I think this pouch is worth mentioning because I don't see a lot of videos about this and I think this is perfect for artists. It has tons of pockets in the front with pen loops and then here's two more. And then inside the zippered pouch, there's more pockets on either side. And then the vac pouch opens up with Velcro and there's two slightly smaller pouches. I love putting all my art supplies in here, especially if this is going to be like my travel art pouch. Now, I don't know the exact size of the smaller pouch, but I'm sure it is still big enough to fit one of the travel palettes I discussed here today. These pouches seem very well made with very durable canvas fabric, so I think it's going to last a very long time. It's not something that seems cheaply made. It says this medium pouch has 15 pockets on it. That's crazy. And there's also little loops on the end, so that way you could attach almost like a shoulder strap or something to carry it around as a purse or side bag if needed. So I really love these pouches, they come in a variety of colors, so I think they're definitely worth looking into, especially if you need a place to store all these newly purchased art supplies. So that is it for today's video. I hope you found some art supplies that maybe you didn't know existed. If you are interested in more art supply hauls, videos, reviews, then definitely like and subscribe below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!